割となんか練習環境のところとかを聞きたいなと思ってなるほどなるほどはい、uh, So we don't really have a specific、uh, time or set for practice we kind of freestyling practice So basically I would say、uh, when we wake up we have breakfast、uh, we practice for maybe an hour an hour and a half and then go to the gym Mm-hmm. Once we're back from there,、uh, we continue practicing and then maybe practice some more on stream.、Uh, mm-hmm. Because we've been streaming lately.、Mm-hmm. So it's, it's usually just, if you count, it's usually just around、uh, maybe four to six hours a day of practice. Mm-hmm. Uh, the thing that helped us this,、uh, in this game is that the connection with Europe mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. works、ah. decently now. Uh-huh. So it's around 120 ms ping, which is playable enough for us.、Uh-huh. And we also can connect versus、uh, China, Singapore,、mm. uh, maybe Taiwan、mm. at, at 130,、uh-huh. 140 ping.、Uh-huh. So it's not the best, but it is、uh-huh. for, me, for me and Angry Bird, it's good practice、uh-huh. for matchups.、Uh, uh-huh. I think that's the biggest change we had since SF5. Mm-hmm. And SF5, we had connection limited to only Middle East. So we can only play、uh, Kuwait, Saudi,、mm-hmm. Qatar. So basically, just Middle East、mm-hmm. countries. So、oh, when、I、it、see. came to matchups, we were、mm-hmm. lacking a lot.、Uh, in this game, yeah, in this、mm-hmm. game, we can play versus Europe. And、uh, it's pretty much much easier to learn matchups right now compared to before. It's、mm-hmm. not the best practice because it's still not、mm-hmm. 20 ms ping, 0 ms ping.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it's good, very good practice for us and even、mm. for them as well, for、uh, Europe. So, pretty much that's、mm. the biggest change for us. Kiko, I know, Capcom Cup, I know, Big Bird, to Onaji Pool, I know, Sugok, Big Bird, no, CFN, or Jibun, I check, Stetan, Deskedo, Zuto, Angry Bird, to Direki, Replay, Zuto, Angry Bird, to で勝負もずっとこう勝ったり負けたりで 50% ぐらいでお互いすごい切磋琢磨してるけどただこれアングリーバードとしか練習できないからすごく5の時は大変だなって思ってたんでまあそういう意味では6はすごいいいですね。Yeah, I mean,、uh, obviously, as a five, we, I mean, before、uh, Cup and Cup by one month, we were in Japan, we came to Japan.、うん Uh, uh, that's where I got most of my practice for Captain Cup basically. Because if I just had、uh, to play Angry Bird for、uh, three, four months until Captain、uh, Cup, it won't be enough. Because,、uh, I mean, as good as he is,、uh, it's one matchup. I'm just playing versus Ken. I had no, I had no Ken in my pool except、uh, Cerebrast. So I had to go to Japan. We had to go to Japan to get pr- proper practice to learn matchups、uh, on, on all of that. And me, especially me as a Luke, and even Angry Bird as a Ken, we have recently switched to these characters. So there's a lot of matchup、mm. gaps that we have. So that's, how, that's, what that's what we had to do back in SF5.、Mm. If we want to learn matchup, either go to Japan, learn a lot of matchups, or go to tournaments, fight a lot、mm. of players. So、mm. learning matchups in SF5 was very hard for us、mm. if, we, if we weren't lucky to have them in our region. And then、mm. uh, in this game, it just changed that it became a lot easier to learn matchups. Well, so the way that the Angry Bird and 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 the a n 結構お互いの練習で違うキャラクターを使ったりとかもするのかなと思ったんだけど割と2人が同じキャラクターを使ってやるのは何か理由があるのかなっていうのはちょっと気になりますね結構最近だと自分があの藤村とか山口とかと一緒にそのシノビズムで練習をよくするのでそこで結果として同じキャラクターをプレイして結構その同じキャラクターを使うことで攻略を共有できたりっていうのがあるんで。なんかそれもすごくいいなとは思ってるんですけど,どうい結構ビッグバードアングリーバードも同じキャラクターを使うことが多いと思うんでなんかその辺の理由をちょっと聞きたいですね。そう、私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は
then Angry Birds followed up by picking those characters. So it wasn't like we agreed on it. Mm. Uh, if you, you, you I, if you know, I used to. I started with Ken, then moved to Rashid, mm. Mm. then moved to back to Ken, mm. then back and then to Luke. Mm. Well, when Luke dropped, uh, Angry Bird was playing a lot of Ken just for fun on the side, and he mm. also plays a lot of Rashid on the side. Mm. And he usually does not use Rashid except against uh, except against bad matchups for Ken. So mm. He usually just uses Rashid for Manat. Uh, Dalsim mm. and these characters that beat Ken. Mm. So, me, personally me, uh, and I told him that as well, that I don't agree with this idea that we play the same characters. Mm. But, uh, because, you know, if I was about if I were about to play Ken, and you play Ken, I mean, he mm. plays Ken, mm. and all of our sets will literally be just mirror matches, so mm -hmm. we don't gain anything, you know? Mm -hmm. I told him that, but obviously, I mean, I can't tell him to play this character. And he plays whatever he wants. I mean, clearly, he got results with the character, so I can't really stop mm -hmm. him from playing a character if he really wants to. <laughs> if he feels the character is the best for him. Uh, mm -hmm. Me, I had Luke on the side, so I was like, you know, might as well just main Luke. Uh, that way, mm -hmm. it's not there's no conflict. I mean, I don't. I uh, Luke. I play Luke. He plays Ken. So don't share the same character. But uh, me personally, uh, I mean, towards the end of the game, I personally felt that I should have stuck with Ken. Just, you know, mm -hmm. run the mirror matches. Uh, but yeah, I do agree that it's not really a good thing for us because since it's mostly the two of us, both of us playing the same characters would not really work. I just want, I just want to ask, uh, what does he think is the best change? Like, what like what do we did he change about the game? And... Uh, if it's not, it's nothing to do with the drive rush. Uh, how would he, like, how would he change drive rush? Drive, まあまさにそのドライブラッシュで、特にあの昨日発表されたんですけど、ドライブラッシュの入力があの簡易で出せるっていうパリーボタンでもう出せるようになるっていう発表があったので、その辺はすごくゲームバランスとかゲーム性が変わると。自分は考えているのでそこはすごく不安ですねまああの弱攻撃小技からドライブラッシュをやるっていうのもすごく強くなりますしあのヒット確認からやるっていうのもすごくやりやすくなるのでなんかその辺りでもうちょっとあの弱攻撃からドライブラッシュやった時の補正とかがダメージ補正があったりとかあとは。そのパリーボタンでやった時には補正が1段階に乗るけどちゃんと前ダッシュの入力で前々って入力した時は従来通りの補正になったりみたいな感じでなんか細かくなんかシステムとしてあると自分としてはなんかやりがいがあるのかなというふうには考えてます。上級者とかプロの目線で言うと結構もう本当にゲームが変わってしまうのであのどうなるかがまだちょっとわからないのでなんか両方の意見ですね不安もあるしどうなるかわかんない期待もあるっていう感じですただあの全体的な意見で言うと多分初心者とか初級者中級者がやっぱりすごく難しいと思うんですよねキャンセルラッシュが難しいと思っててやっぱそういうプレイヤーがすごくストリートファイター6は多いのであのそういったプレイヤーがすごく楽しんでストレスなくできるっていう意味ではあの全体の調整としてはすごくいい調整だと思うのであの多くのプレイヤーが喜ぶ調整だと思うのであの、まあ、プロとしては結構難しい<笑>どっちの意見もあるんだけどあの一プレイヤーとしては業界「ストリートファイター6」がよりたくさんの人に楽しんでもらうっていう意味でいい調整だと思います。Uh, yeah, it makes sense from that point. Yeah, I guess、um, anything to draw out the casual, the beginners, and make it easier for them is a win for the game, basically.、Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I feel the same way in a professional player perspective, but yeah.